the next topic we are about to start is different components of an image processing system so uh, the diagram that you can see over here typically talks about different components in the image processing system you can see the connections between the different components so the very first component is image sensors then you have specialized image processing hardware to process the image which is captured by the sensor this will go to the computer the computer will have different uh, parts or different elements that we are going to use something that can display our images something that can print our images hard copy something that can store our images and obviously our image processing software and obviously a computer may be connected to a network and a cloud or internet in turn okay so a very simple diagram very basic diagram now let us see the components of general image processing system in detail <laughs> the very first thing that we have is image sensors so whenever i want to acquire the digital images i need two sub systems so very first sub system is a physical device that is sensitive to some kind of energy which is radiated by the object so you have to understand that ki right in the beginning i told i told you something about you know uh, gamma images x ray images and all those things so basically object se jo bhi energy ya jo bhi light reflect hota hai ya radiate hota hai wo capture karne ka kaam sensor karega okay so you have a sensor which is going to capture that energy which is radiated by any object second you need a digitizer i have already again told you ki if your sensor is not capturing the image in a digital format you will need something that will convert your analog signals analog images to digital images okay so digitizer is a device for converting the output of the physical sensing device what is your physical sensing device it is nothing but your sensor and i want to convert that output to a digital form okay now the digitizer will convert the electrical outputs to the digital data now specialized image processing hardware so it usually consists of a digitizer the hardware that performs other primitive operations such as it will have a alu you all know why alu is required for performing arithmetic and logical operations uh all this type of hardware that we are talking about is called as a front end sub system and it is most distinguishing characteristic is the speed agar pure image mein ek sath parallel mein kuch kuch uh, apply karna hai then obviously you need speed okay so uh, your normal computer may not be able to handle that much load so you need computers which are specialized for image processing and their basic advantage is they can work in parallel they can work in a distributed manner and they give you speed okay computer everyone knows your computer can be a laptop or pc or it can be a super computer now image processing softwares you have softwares which are commercially available you have softwares which are open source softwares that allow you to process an image A, a very basic example of an image processing software a very basic level of image processing software is the software that you get in your phone camera you can edit your images in your phone camera correct you can crop them you can uh, uh, apply some filters to them if you if they are color you can get them into a black and white thing you can increase the contrast so wo sab cheeze ek image processing software ke characteristics ho sakte hain but i'm talking about a a uh, very small scale image processing software when i am giving you the example of your phone camera okay after capturing the image there is a software that allows you to do all these things uske baad mass storage so uh, basically jo storage lagta hai image processing ke liye it is divided into the three categories the very first one is the short term storage so whenever i am processing the image only for that duration i need to use the storage so that is the short some uh, short term storage online storage for fast recon so uh, the image is there online and whenever you need it you just uh, get it to you and archival storage which is characterized for infrequent access so i don't need that photograph daily 
but once in two years or something like that or once in one month i will need that photograph so the access is infrequent okay now the storage is measured in bytes so either kbs mbs gbs or tbs uh, image displays monitors which are going to display your images so uh, you need graphic डिस्प्ले कार्ड्स इन अ कंप्यूटर सो अब लोगों ने सुना होगा कि अगर ग्राफिक कार्ड अच्छा है देन इमेज अच्छा दिखेगा गेमर्स मस्ट बी नोइंग अबाउट इट गेमर्स यूजअली वेन दे आर बाइंग अ सिस्टम दे आस्क वट काइंड ऑफ ग्राफिक कार्ड और यू नो वेदर यू हैव अ जी पी यू इन द इमेज और नो ओके देन हार्ड कॉपी डिवाइसिस लेजर प्रिंटर फिल्म कैमराज हीट सेंसिटिव डिवाइसिस इंजेट यूनिट्स सो all these are your hard copy devices and networking and uh, networking and cloud communication is nothing but you want to store the images somewhere like you know i am sure you must be storing your images on google drive so at least i do it all the photos i don't store in my laptop i store it on the google drive whenever i need i take them my laptop doesn't have any kind of photos so kya hua wo ek स्टोरेज एज अ सर्विस ही यूज कर लिया ना मैंने देन ट्रांसमिशन बैंडवर्थ अच्छा चाहिए देन यू यूज ऑप्टिकल फाइबर केबल एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स ओके सो दैट्स इट दिस वॉज द टॉपिक विच इज कॉल्ड एज डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ जनरल पर्पज इमेज प्रोसेसिंग सिस्टम